Hello there everyone and welcome back to the Cold War Iron Curtain mod for Hearts of Iron 4. Looking at a beautiful blue America but Operation Vapen Overview. The CIA initiated contact with senior Syrian right-wing generals under the leadership of General Adib Shikchakli. He has a history of being friendly with the West and promises to return towards such policies. Along with the crackdown of Syrian communists, our Syrian friends believe a coup can be done but for a price. Syrian commanders, troops, and officials will have to be bribed to assure support for proposed coup. The CIA is confident that the plan will work as General Shishkalki has national recognition and experience at the highest levels. The proposed operation is being called Operation Wapen. Noted, and that we're doing, of course, still the post war Air Force focus. Which, hello, where to go? It's somewhere around here, but happy 1954 November verse. 1st, everybody. So, after this one, let's keep going over here. We've got some comms to go through, but I guess we'll do. No price too high? Oh, lithographic processing is probably pretty good to grab. Uh, it is 55. That's not too bad. Industry, yes. We keep pushing onwards, yes. More income, yes, please. More output would be great. Tax break proposals. We need to get more tax breaks proposals. And we currently get one... No, 2.3 every single day. Nice. McCarthyism is hurting us, but we get Eisenhower. Nominal wealth are spending. Modernized postal service. Internal revenue code of 54. Agriculture price controls. Labor neutral. Not bad. And like normal, let's go ahead and close this stuff out. An execution of Le Curtiu Pastrans Canu. Oh, a kangaroo court. Cool. And we got some comes. Go through. Let's close out of all this stuff. American having debt. America, we want to live in. No paid light. Equatorial state. I'll give you a week. So you got until November 26th to pay us for these here licenses. Until then, if you can't pay up, you're going to lose it. And, what well, we gave them a week. We gave them a week. We get, we did the best we could. Well, they're going to accept that whether they like it or not. But no price too high? Followed up with what? Uh, let's come over to here and do... Begin Saber Mass Production. Modern jets are proven. Their superiority over propellers. Uh, over pro propellers aircraft every day. That's of the utmost importance to replace World War II fighters with newer, more powerful jets. For 10 years, we get better multi-role fighter production costs. But no price too high. The CIA has presented the final plan for Operation Wapen. The Syrian generals have asked for much more cash than originally agreed upon. The White House is concerned. Throwing so much cash in Damascus may expose a plan. Hence, that this may just be an attempt to extort us. Of more concern is that this is a Syrian sting operation meant to expose their involvement and damage the reputation of the region. The CIA is strongly encouraging that we meet demands. But the Secretary of State believes they are suffering from tunnel vision and desperation to engineer regime change. We must decide to meet the exorbitant demand, offer the original amount, or just cut our losses and not risk exposure. Low ball at 3 million, raise it to 10 million. Mm. Recognize a new regime. I do want to invade, and there was a comment saying that we should, uh, uh, let's see, where is it? Invade Syria, so, invade Syria. I kind of want to, even though it's not very historical, so, general reject bribes. Um, general screw cut diplomatic ties. Uh... We'll go big. Go big or go home. Generals reject him. The CIA has suffered a major setback following news reports from Damascus that several Syrian generals had turned in bribe money they claim was given by the U.S. to launch a coup. Syrian forces surrounded our embassy and detained the CIA officer orchestrating the plot on the ground. The generals claimed that the patriotism and loyalty to Syria pushed them to report the incidents and turn in the cash. Operation Wapen has been exposed along with CIA participants or participation. Other Syrian generals and political leaders involved either fled or abroad were detained by Syrian intelligence. It appears that a bribe office was not high enough for several eight generals who chose to expose the plot rather than risk a failed coup. The White House is said to be furious while the Senate or State Department suggested that Syrian intelligence had known the entire time and only struck now to maximize embarrassment of the free U.S. Did we just get ripped off? Yes, we did. Got diplomatic ties. Because we might as well now. And where are we at for focuses? Uh, we're currently doing the Saber production right now. That's going to last a while. Um, who's in NATO? Did we put you guys in NATO? If that's the case... Yeah, we did. Would you like to be in NATO? Where's a NATO ally? How do I invade Syria? It sounds like something the president would say, no, no matter who the president is, president is. How do we invade Syria? Um, You guys are pretty darn well over there. Can we get, like... Can I station soldiers anywhere? No? How do we get involved then? Seriously, bro. How do we get involved there? From the UK, maybe just calling our allies, maybe. But we'll see what happens after we do cut diplomatic ties. Another comment was, someone says, uh, yeah, I want. I said I want to go historical, but then I don't remember exactly what historical is, so I want at least historical presidents. I'll put it like that. I want at least historical presidents, so we'll see what happens. And then increase arms shipments to Turkey and Iraq. Yes, we love Iraq. We love Turkey. 
We'll never invade any of these other guys. You know, we give them AK-47s. Eastern Bloc AK-47s. Okay. Closing the American Consul in Hanoi. Oh, that's not good. Concerning. That's quite concerning. Well, I'm more focused on Syria right now. Syria's got our attention. Um, anything else for Syria? Uh, uh, South Vietnam? We got some stuff on here. Internet State Highway Active 55. Happy 55, everybody. Hope you're having a great year. Air Pollution Control Act. The Air Pollution Control Act is designed to provide research and technical assistance relating to air pollution control, as well as, as, well as regulate emissions from cars and, of course, factories. Nice. We're going to back down and going to invade him. NATO member? Nice. So not a normal in-game faction, but rather defensive alliance. As such, members will be caught into defensive wars, but not offensive ones. So seriously, how do I invade? All this from the UK stuff, but after this one, we're probably going to go do back down, invade, contact Turkey, contact Iraq. I don't know, man. The Abadan Crisis. The decision of the Iranian government to nationalize its oil in defiance to its treaties. And the rage of Britain has sent shockwaves across Iraq. Iraqis have applauded Iran for securing its sovereignty and defying imperialism while recognizing its own government continues to accept colonial British concessions. Many Iraqis now openly call King Faisal II a British stooge. The Iraqi government is likely sensitive, very sensitive to this, as anti-British and anti-colonial sentiments are at all-time high across the country. Anti-British protesters have appeared in cities across the country, and demanding Iraq assert its own sovereignty. Currently, the Iraqi government received a fixed royalty on oil sales, which many recognize leaves most of the oil wealth ending in the British hands. The government has two options in how it responds to the Abadan crisis. It can join Iran and nationalize its own oil industry, rallying the masses and demonstrating the king's position as an Iraqi sovereign. However, doing so provoked significant British and Western ire, ending Iraq's decades-long cultivation of such ties and leaving Iraq exposed internationally as well as domestically. The second option is to negotiate with the British over the current oil concession, and perhaps change the model from one of a fixed annual royalty to a profit-sharing scheme where Iraq makes money on each barrel of oil sold. The British may be receptive to this plan as it would not want to risk losing yet another major concession and could placate the protesters. How will this affect Iranian-Iraqi relations? Just bomb them. Oh, subsidies? Oh, we need to listen to our companies, guys. Always get them more subsidies. Always. Uh, that doesn't seem very... Historical. I do want to do that though. Hashemite rule. Fish and Wildlife Act. The purpose of the FWA is to regulate the commercial fishing industry, creating a policy regarding fish and shellfish, increasing public opportunities for fishing, as well as increasing research into fish and wildlife matters. <coughs> We lose construction speed of production fishing is growth, but get more wealth population and stability? Not bad. I don't know. <sighs> Historically, that wasn't very historical to invade Syria, is it? Pro-Western regime, back down. I don't know, man. Armed paramilitaries, launch fl false flag assassinations, destabilize it. Well, we'll see what uh, Iraq does for now. Send the tripartite declaration. Limit Israeli economic aid. Yeah, no. This seems more like probably what we're going to do. Reject the tripartite proposal. We cannot sign the declaration. As doing so, would leave our ally in a tight spot. America loves Israel. Sign the tripartite declaration. It was an agreement of 50, and it was a joint statement by the U.S., U.K., and France to guarantee the territorial status quo that has been determined by the 1949 Arab-Israeli Armistice Agreements. The declaration outlines the parties commitments to peace and stability in the Middle East and their opposition to use... Or threat of force. Anti five campaign. Oh boy, interesting. Limit Israeli economic aid. Well, the declarations limit the military aid we can give. We still offer a limited economic assistance. I don't know. I want to reject it. This is probably wrong to do, but it feels like that's something we would do. Just saying. Let's see what Iraq does. Execution Nav Safabi. Navab Safabi. Alright, that's not good. Now this seems very American. Ramp up foreign aid to Israel. We give them as much foreign aid as possible so they can buy our planes or something like that. Jets or something. Whatever. Insufficient resources. Oh, right. Oh. Ah. America rejects the tripartite declaration. The U.S. has refused to sign a proposed tripartite declaration proposed by Britain and France. The agreement would call for all three states to preserve the current territorial status quo between Israel and its Arab neighbors. Oops, maybe I wasn't supposed to do this one. It also has stipulated that three parties would work to control arms sales of the region. The American government argued the agreement was anti-Israeli, as it would deny them access to defense aid while allowing Arab states to more effectively rearm on the global market with a stronger financial position. 
The American rejection indicates that support for Israel and the Arab states are said to be fierce over their position. A major escalation. Maybe that was the wrong thing to do. But oh well. We're going to give Israel everything they want. Highly dangerous. Uh, well, we need more energy, so boundaries would be nice. Consumes... What is that? We don't have any nuclear energy, do we? This kind of sucks, man. Nuclear material would be nice. Um, nice. Get some of the stuff? Why not? Where was it? Where, where was I? Legislation passed. Nice. Good job. I right, trade stuff. My bad. Trade. Or resources, really. Yeah, power plant, fossil fuels. Cool. 19% is not bad. Here, build two at a time for now, because we could really use them. Alright. Advisors Israel. Might as well. Followed up with extensive military aid. Ah, oh, yes. By August, Declaration of the Republic of India, report of Port Juby to Morocco. Surprising. Congratulations. Wilhelm Zeiser purged. Minister of State Security for the German Democratic Republic. Oh, boy. That's an interesting development. Well, India's here. Led by J. Nehru, Big Tent Party leader. Non-aligned promoter. First Indian Prime Minister. Well, good, good luck with that. And we've just given Israel as many things as we can. Sento. Oh. Iraq has completed the focus founding of the Baghdad Pact. Join it. Wait, we can join it. Bow to the Israeli lobby. I think, I think we're going to invite Western Germany next. It's only a 15 day focus, so that shouldn't be too bad. We're going to aid to South Asia. Funding the Commonwealth. Probably to the Commonwealth, honestly. Yeah, that's probably pretty good to do. But we're going to invite West Germany first. And then fund the CIA front lines. Might as well. Right. And that ha lasts for what? Seven years ish? Six? Seven? Six? Yeah, I think it's six. That's not much, but whatever. Cool. And after the military aid, which we got one more day left, is to invite the West Germans. Now the comment was, sad was that, will I go and play another uh, route for the United States someday? And go ahistorical and go very diplomatic? Sure, why not? Someday. Maybe. I'm not sure when, but I think that'd be good. The Bamilake War. Cool. Another long and brutal war. Which is something we love to see. Honestly, this is really scary. He literally reminds me of, like, Palpatine or something. Like... He has this just weird stare. Just very unsettling. Very unsettling, at least for me. Yeah, we need more stuff here. Palletization, good. Construction speed, good. Actually getting stuff done here is actually very good. But so, uh, let's do funding the Commonwealth. Yeah. Germany joins NATO, nice. Unsurprising. 100 flowers campaign. Hey, it's Mao. Meow, wow. So we're trying to do this too. Legislation passes, nice. Um, anything else? No? Alright, let's keep influencing Mexico, because we love Mexico here. Oh, we can, we love them so much we can economic, uh, 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 manipulate their politics. Pakistan condemns Afghani threats, whatever. Prince Faisal appointed Prime Minister, following the coronation of King Saul. Prince Faisal took over his crown prince to his brother, the king. Prince Faisal served in administrative posts as a military leader for his father, King Ibn Saud, and his extensive diplomatic experience as a Saudi foreign minister. King Saud's ambitious projects and extravagant spendings led to financial problems and public discomfort to the government. In addition, radio broadcasts from Arab national states denouncing the old Arab monarchies have gained increasing popularity among segments of the population. Fearing the current wave of Arab nationalism and growing public anger at government spending has led a fraction of the ulema and royal family to band together. They have confronted King Saud and demanded he place King Faisal to the post of Prime Minister with executive powers, reluctantly. The king has agreed, and Faisal has become Prime Minister. Diplomats in Riyadh believe this may curtail the king's more impulsive decisions, but there are li there's little doubt. The brothers will clash, and it's highly possible that, that instead of acting as a check to the king's power, this may instead lead to a larger infighting within the royal Saudi royal family. Only time will tell whether this appointment can restore the Saudi prestige. Hopefully, Prince Faisal will restore stability, but, of course, there is no guarantee. Nice. What is this? Wait, environmental externalities coming soon? What do you mean it's coming soon? What? That sounds like fun. There you go. Now I'll do that one. Up next, uh, development aid of Portugal and Italy? I guess so, why not? Anything else here yet? Because we should do some other stuff. Yeah, tax proposals. Okay, so after this one, we're going to go ahead and come up here. 
Because we can do all this Navy military stuff later on. That's probably going to be here for as long as possible. Interstate Highway Active 55. The Interstate Highway Active 1955 will authorize $25 billion to be put to use in the construction of 41,000 miles of roads across America. Well, officially, it'll be to better connect our nation and populace. Its true purpose is to aid military transportations of necessary evacuations. It's always good to be prepared for whatever may or may not happen. You never know. You really just never know. This is so bad. Oh, no, we're not influencing the Mexicans anymore. Um, yeah, we definitely need to get more electricity here. We're just using way too much up. Because these guys... These up just so much. Devilman A, nice. Probably playing this wrong, but whatever. It is what it is. We'll see what happens. Uh, fund the CIA front lines? We could. Let's see. Continue French fiscal aid. Or, re redirect aid and... To, uh, you know, uh, aid... I don't know what's historical... So, let's just go with France. Continue the French fiscal aid, probably. Right? Maybe? I don't know. You're going to judge me anyway, so it doesn't really matter what I say. Um, hmm. Yeah, I wish we had more money. Actually, look at that. Our military spending is not quite half. It actually is less. Domestic spending is a little bit more, but it's not so not that much. Kind of cool. Anything else we could do here? Do I have to drag in this? I just want to use chemical weapons, man. Yeah, El Al Flight. Successful coup in Yemen, huh? Oh, that's not good. A tragedy. Surprising. But now. But now. Keep giving the French some aid because they could totally use it. <laughs> nice. More state of... Oh, yeah. Every state has infrastructure. That's actually really strong. I like that a lot. Gives you more resources. You know, more ability to move stuff. 1.14 trillion in GDP. Nice. Look at that. Yeah, it went up and then down. And then up and then kind of stagnant. And then went down. What the heck? Philippines? And then up and slightly more up. Nice. Obviously, it could be better, but I will gladly take it. Neutral Austria. We've gotten an offer from the Soviet Union to create a neutral, unified Austria. A better serve as a buffer zone between the West and East. All we have to do is turn over the occupation zone to the Austrians. Now, we already screwed up. I, well, it's not you guys. I screwed up with the Germans earlier. So, I think technically Austria was neutral. Keep the zone. I don't mind raising tension, but... No, we're not. Unification of Austria. An agreement between France, Britain, the U.S., and the Soviet Union. Austria has now been unified under neutral government, acting as a buffer zone between now the East and West. The nation, or the Republic of Austria, is now a free nation. Nice. Come on home, boys. Well, I might just have to delete them. We'll see what happens. Uh, yeah. From the CIA front lines. Follow it up with what? <sighs> Getting involved in the Middle East is just something we should do. But how do I go to war with them? Peace with these guys. How do I do this? I think I'm going to wait. I think it's just probably best to wait for now. Just wait for that one. Is there anything else we could do here? Project F. Fat Effer. Um, the Super Saber. Yeah, we might as well do that one. I'm not sure what else there is to do. Like, all this military stuff is nice. Because we could talk about decolonization. Operation Bolster. That's what we want to do. No, no, not yet. We don't do that one yet. Um, there's not a lot we can do down here. Uh, up, uh, establish CETO. Yeah, we'll do CETO. Southeast Asian Treaty Organization, maybe? I'm going to assume that's what it's called. Could be wrong about that, though. So after CETO, we'll come back and do Syria. And we will do... We did all of this stuff, which is nice. Abolishment of the Vietnamese monarchy. Uh oh, the end of an era. Um, M14. You might as well do the M14, right? As the M1 Garand starts to show its age, we must develop a new weapon for the new wars of the Cold War. What do you mean? The M1 Garand worked for my grand, my poppy, and my grandpappy is going to work as well for me. Even though it didn't work for, for my family, someone's family there, someone's family somewhere. Republic of the Philippines joined CETO. Republic of the Philippines accepted our invitation to join CETO. They pledged to attend the next Council of Ministers to formalize its membership. They informed the organization aligns with the foreign policy and objectives. They were partially excited about the prospects of increasing cultural and trade ties with other member states. This is a major victory for our foreign policy, and CETO will benefit from its newest member. The response from the press is very positive, as many in the country see a growth in CETO as a confirmation of robust foreign policy. Thailand joins, Dominion Pakistan, formation of CETO. So it's the Southeast Asia Treaty Association. Nice. Another NATO? Why not? Legislation passed, as it should be. Alright, so we'll come back and do some other stuff. What is this? 
The Suez Crisis. Oh boy. Sento's there as well. We did we did not we did a lot of this stuff already. Pakistan purchased Gwadar. Oh good good, good job guys. Um, let's go and do this one. The branch of exclusive. Expand foreign aid recipients. Might as well. The murder of Emmett Till. That was an unfortunate thing that happened, yeah. Yeah. Barbaric. We're not starving yet. Yeah. You already told me what which way we should go. I'd love to do continue the Eurocentric African policy. God, I wish we could do that. But we're going to try to attempt to go historical, so we're going to go with push for decolonization. So I know it's sad. It's so sad, but it's all right. Sometimes we got to do what we got to do. And my goodness, getting the M14 developed is really difficult. Or it just takes a while. And even though it's only 26 day focus, and I'm just spoiled. Like, these focuses are spoiling me. They really are. Like, it's so nice. Lightweight metals. Oh, yeah, let's get some more infrastructure. Screw that, yeah. Idaho's Coeur d'Alene district is filled with a vast quantity of silver. So much so, in fact, that this district's mines contain more silver than all the rest of the states put together. I gotta go to Idaho. But now, petrochemicals sell the uh, Wyoming coal disputes. Coal mining in Wyoming is among the largest coal RGOs in the country. Currently, there are countless disputes between unions, industrials, contractors, and many others over working conditions and mining rights. It'll take a lot of political deal making to work, but these issues gotta be resolved. I gotta get more of this stuff done. We need float glass. So your reports are level 4. Alright, interesting. I like this. Economic investments. To invest 100 billion. Especially in the Republic of Vietnam. Ooh, interesting. Alright, so no longer a monarchy, but now a republic. Interesting. Uh, improve special forces training? Might as well, right? Alright. Oh, there's Cambodia, too. So don't screw it up and go ding diem. Don't screw it up too hard. Alright, so... To industrialize pre-industrial states, current budget is 25. States Khrushchev condemns the Leningrad Affair. Just as the Central Committee, Nikita Khrushchev condemned what occurred during the Leningrad Affair. The Leningrad Affair was a purge. Oh, look at that. Of the leading Leningrad Soviet officials by Stalin and his security services. At the time, it was portrayed to the Soviet people as a plot by the Leningrad officials to seize power. Khrushchev, in his remarks, noted the charges against the Leningrad Soviet officials were either faked or fabricated by Leventry Beria under the direction of Joseph Stalin. He called on the rehabilitation of the surviving victims of the Leningrad Affair, and in his remarks, criticized several powerful Stalinists in the Central Committee. Khrushchev has not only brought to light the victims of a false purge by Stalin, but by implicating those Stalinists while still sitting in the committee, including his rival Malenkov. He has weakened them and strengthened his own position. Interesting. I've read that one before, I think. So, uh, Investment money. Current budget 25. Uh, spend money to upgrade pre industrial states to industrialize to improve the income and building slots. $630 billion to cost to industrialize. Not, number of pre industrial states not being upgraded. 7. Guam, Marshall Islands, Northern Mar Marianne Islands, Palau, Caroline Islands. Average $48 billion per million per pop. Invest a quarter trillion dollars to develop industrial states. Cost to develop, $900 billion. Oh, this is going to be upgraded. South Carolina, Alabama, New Mexico. I'm not sure what that does, but you know what? If that means we're going to spend some big money to up industrialize everything, well, let's do it. Did we lose, we lose like $300 million or something. We lost more billions. So that's Gil and Boslin. Okay, interesting. Failed coup in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia today announced that the rest of dozens of Air Force personnel were plotting to overthrow the Saudi state. Oh, look at this guy, too. That's actually all over the East. That's really cool. Concerning. And the government had long suspected Nasserists of had infiltrated the military urban middle class. The government said the plots were about to launch a pooch that would see Riyadh taking over in the air raids on key government facilities. President Nasser, although through Radio Cairo, had long advocated that the liberation of the Arab world would begin with the liberation of Riyadh and break up with this plot would no doubt be a great blow to these regional objectives. The failure of the coup would no doubt push the Saudi government to restrengthen oversight of the military and increase its paranoia. Prince Talal and the young princes who have long been sympathetic to Nasser and a transition to a constitutional government will be under much greater scrutiny by the king, Saudi king. The United States will be a breathing a sigh of relief that it helped prevent the fall of a critical ally in the region. A close call for the House of Saud. Nice. Who cares how much money it costs? Just spend. $200 billion. That's not enough. We don't have enough money. Modernization technology. Yet. Oh. Requires 1975 technology and water infrastructure, power grid, consumer goods, material sciences, and industrial production. I wish we had more money. Then again, I always wish we had more money. 
uh, Strategic Air Command. Strategic Air Command was created on the 21st of March, 1946. SAC had a control of land-based strategic bomber aircraft and ICBMs. SAC also operated all strategic reconnaissance aircraft, all strategic airborne command post aircraft, and all USAF aerofueling aircraft. A lot of aircraft there. A lot of aircraft. So, improving that, the Soviet Union clears out the gulags. Everyone read about that, please go ahead. I think I've read a lot of these. I don't know why we're getting all these events, but still. After this one... Sumatran Revolt. Alright, we'll have to wait for that one to fire. So, let's go and do this one. Infrastructure grants? Might as well. So, South Africa, Rhodesia, Nyasaland, Liberia, Belgian Congo. Why are these all African states? Do we not want to help our people here at home? What's wrong with all these people? Uh, we need more money. Provide economic loans. Set education or send educational aid. Which ain't too bad, but still. Still. Oh, that's technology. Nice. Nice. Keep going, keep going. South Vietnam rejects the Geneva Accord. So I guess that was the right one to do, huh? I suppose it was. Reflects his confidence in his ability to crush communist fighters within this border. Unsurprising. Nice job. Actually, right now, how are we doing on planes? Because the Montgomery bus boycott, if you want to about that, please go ahead. Will change ever come? Maybe someday, but today is definitely not your day. We have a lot of planes here that I'm never going to use. Carrier jet fighters. Um, we still need more jet tactical bombers, huh? Generation multi-role stuff. Preventive, preventative maintenance would be good to get. That's a little bit ahead of time for us. Um, we need early renewables first. Anything for rocketry? Yeah, might as well, why not? Followed up with... Provide economic loans. Rejects no war pact concerning. Andean annexation of the Andanaman and Nicobar Islands. Tensions in Trieste. Nice. Um, up next, after this. We're still building stuff, right? Yeah, that's good. Trade? No, it's looking a little better so far. Especially as we're, like, doing a lot of stuff up here. Cool. Economic loans and send educational aid. Alright, month of pick. Pulse tick. After aid, I guess... Oh, tax breaks. Hold on, we gotta get them tax breaks. The seventh Olympic Winter Games. Independence to Sudan. Ah. Independence, man. Uh, how are you guys doing over here? Not ninety-five percent. That's not enough. Are you kidding me? Financial reserves are better than us. So now we see Republic of Sudan. It's a nice color. It's a nice purple bluish color. I like that though. Sovereignty Council with a rhino. I think that's pretty cool. What I don't like is all this stuff over here. I guess it is costing us stuff. So and I can't get these guys out. So. Push for decolonization. The world's changing, and in this new world, there's no room for imperialism. At least not in its current form. Where are you at? Berlin Brigade? You guys all just make it over here. Yeah, if you can make it over there, that'd be good. Let's see what happens. What the heck are you doing, son? Assassination of Kim Koo? Oh, crap. Hey, guy. Uh... Push for decolonization. Cool. A major policy shift. Where are you going? At least save them for now. Early renewables are good to get. Followed up with... Yes. Oh, that's very good to get, too. Oh, we need another national focus. And we have to go with almighty dollar. Yeah. F, yeah. Align Africa with their interests. F oh, what is this one? Alright. Policy and colonialization. Colonization. Oh, look at this stuff. Oh, crap. Uh, we should follow the 14 points of the Woodrow Wilson, which includes emphasis on self-determination of people as advocacy for the spread of democracy, advocacy for the spread of capitalism, support for collective security, and his partial opposition to American op uh, isolationism. Africa for the Africans. Not, okay, so this isn't even implemented yet, so. New nations, invite new nations to join the technical assistance program. Not implemented yet. Condemn European uh, colonialism. Nation building in Africa. Sounds like more what we should do, but subvert independence movements. Nice. Just subvert them, my friends. Subversion is okay. Especially when we do it. 
Happy 56, everybody. I, did, I just realized it was 56. Man, I wish this mod moved just a little bit faster as well, man. Uh, I want more political power, but nothing really here gives us more. Kind of sucks. Oh, we need more rocket artillery, don't we? We just need more resources, man. Which we might get eventually later on, but collaborate with local interests. Might as well. Don't really want to import more. I'd just rather just build it all ourselves. Um, yeah. Municipal infrastructure would be good to get grab. This stuff as well. Water infrastructure. Civil defense shelters. You might as well just build it eventually. Once you run out of things to build, which I kind of doubt we'll run out of things to build anytime soon. But still. Here's to create simplified Chinese. Great. Probably sounds like a good thing to do, actually. Are we supposed to have elections or something? Or maybe that's this year. It's probably this year. Cool. Uh, collaborate with local interests. Induce American corporate investors. Might as well. So when do we go to war with Vietnam? Operation Paper, the invasion of Yunnan. After the fall of the mainland of the troops lord of Mao Zedong, insurgency was established in uh, Burma by Li Mi. A nationalist general that had formed the backbone of what was become the National or Yunnan uh, Province Anti-Communist National Salvation Army, which was supported by both Taiwan and the U.S. As Chinese forces started to mount troops in the border with Korea, the Americans urged the nationalist insurgents to mount an attack on the province of Yunnan, trying to tie the PRC in a conflict with these insurgents, whilst it was presenting itself as a key to a renewed nationalist attack into the mainland, which would break the Mao's forces and bringing China into the control of Chiang Kai-shek once again. As soon as these troops set themselves inside Yunnan, they would capture airfields that would allow American forces to send supplies in order to maintain the invasion. While Li Mi was more dedicated to use the incursion into Yunnan as a key to receive American weaponry, retreat into Burma and fortify and fortify the insurgency. Whether any of these plans will succeed is but a mystery to both the general that commands the insurgency and the generalissimo in Taiwan. A surprising move. General strikes, fight in Mohammed. Uh, the flight of the free princes. If you want to read about this one, please go ahead. Uh, there's just there's not a lot about stuff that we can that really affects us with all this reading. I kind of wish there was more stuff that affected America that we could read about. Well, yeah, fifty six and stuff like that. But solidify American economic influence. Yeah. Holy crap! We give them what? A okay, only one office park and two industrial parks. That's not bad. All right, so we finished a lot of Eisenhower's stuff already, which kind of sucks. So. At this point, I think we're just going to back down. I know people want me to invade, and I, I want to invade. I really, really do. But... Let's see what happens. Next time. Next time we play as America. Probably next time we play as America, I'm probably going to go really just full-on hardcore nationalist and just anti-communist and just invade everybody we possibly can just kill off the Soviets probably next time. That's probably what we're going to do in the next campaign. So we're probably going to just go back down. I apologize if it's not the way you want us to go, but... I think for this campaign, this is the one to do. Tehran Trials and enter an era. Oh boy. And then shock and awe, more soft tech. Yes, please, baby. Yes, yes. Back down, followed up with whatever happens next. Um, which we're which we're gonna choose what? What was the Suez Crisis? I don't remember. A lot of stuff we just can't do here. Super Saber? A research bonus of fighters. Analyzing a failure. The theory of Operation Struggle reveals fundamental issues with American involvement in Syria. The CIA recognized it was over-trusting of the Syrian context and overvalued their capabilities. The Syrian intelligence apparatus is incredibly robust and difficult to outmaneuver. In addition, Syrian nationals was a very powerful force, and the CIA thought cash bribes would overcome such loyalty. They were wrong as once officers realized where the money came from, and they had moved quickly to expose the plot. Incredibly. Some officers we bribed went to the government, confessed, and turned over the cash. The explosion of our involvement also greatly weakens American prestige in the country, and continued involvement will only soak Syrian paranoia out of the West. We must focus our efforts to overt diplomacy and engage with friends in Syria instead of covert operations. If we do not, we risk more failures like Operation Straggle. Unfortunately, another failure for the CIA, which never happened historically, right? The CIA has never failed. Republican Party, huh? Alright. Cool. Largely dominated politics nationally and in the majority of northern states between 1860 and 1932. Interesting. Well, the more you know. The more you know. So, like South Carolina. We, we, we're we developing others in North Carolina. Tech requirements not met. They're developed. These guys are industrialized. The French Sultan. What will happen next? Finding secure for the Aswan Dam. Nice. First backwards classes commission. Progress. General Secretary Anton Nugal. If you wanted about that, please go right ahead. Our arsenal of nukes delivered through air, and we need to focus an equally powerful bomber force to overpower the Soviet air defenses. This is weird. North Carolina is fully developed, but these guys are not. Georgia. 
Florida. You need more money. And again, like I've said, like it always seems like that's an issue. Twentieth Congress of the CPSU. Um, if you want to put that, please go ahead too. Unexpected. Okay. Sidewinder, nice. Why not? I'll grab that one too. Relevation of the doctor's plot. If you want to put that, please go ahead. Is Stalin's period no, have no end? Probably not. California's probably really developed, right? So those guys don't cost too much money, but the tech just we, don't, we just don't have yet. Oh yeah, I forgot about this stuff too. Auditing might as well, right? Modern railway seems like a smart idea. Followed up with what? Uh, more rocketry? Why not? You can never go in, wrong with rocketry. Um, current budget zero. Uprising in Poland. Oh boy. Games of the 14th Olympiad, 16th. I think it's 16th Olympiad. Nice. Alrighty, now let's contact, I don't know, Iraq or Turkey? I think I want to do Turkey just because, like, that'd be kind of cool get the Turks on this. Launch false flag sounds like fun, though. Humanitarian aid. Recognize Turkish territorial gains. Annexation of northern Syria. Hashemite rule. You know, that, that'll affect something else around here, too, right? The ultimate interceptor versus a partner for Valkyrie. If you want, well, there's that one, but let's do the ultimate interceptor. Might as well, right? We have a lot of money, but whatever. Hmm. Pursue nuclear aircraft. F focus on the Strata Fortress. As much as I want to do that one, which seems like which we, sh we should, I kind of want nuclear aircraft. It's probably not very historical, but Sidewinder missile sounds like fun. President Re extends term limits. All right, an interesting development. That's, that's what I always say. The fall of the Viet Minh. I want to wait till later so we can do this stuff. Um. Improve World War II SBG sounds like a good idea. Jupiter. Oh, yeah, let's do some Jupiter stuff. Which requires air. Oh, look at the big stick. Cruise missile range is plus 1000%. I like this one, but we're probably going to do the IBRM. Or IRM. IRBM. Focus. Eh, honestly, it doesn't really matter. The big stick. Presidential, presidential visit to Pakistan. All right, cool. <laughs> Interesting. Um, Yeah, not sure how much more there is for Eisenhower. So, what is this one? The space race. Space race mission is completed. None. Well, we gotta fix that up. What, how can we do this one? Because first, look at the PZRP. Four to eight meter pressure vessels, hybrid propellant rockets. Oh, here we go. The fi election. We don't even get a choice. So, as much as people want me to probably choose Nixon, we're gonna go with Eisenhower for now. And Democrats, I don't know. Uh, go again. I'll die, Stevenson. Go again. Oh, the Suez Crisis. Look at that. Oh, where's the Suez Crisis? Crisis. Pursue nuclear aircraft sounds like fun. We'll go with Jupiter. Oh yeah, we are doing it currently. Good. Um, I think it's some religious persecution of the People's Republic of China. Seems pretty normal. Oh, Project Ajax. Ajax falls a successful coup. Oh, Iran. Yeah, Iran is doing stuff right now. I don't see anything here about these guys. So, get a request Soviet intervention. Oh boy, this one not in well. Oops, I clicked on something there too. Hungarian Revolution. The revolution in Hungary could be the beginning of the end of the Iron Curtain. However, the Soviets will likely try to stop out that revolution. What should we do? They should ultimatum. There it is. It's down here. Ah! Hungarian Revolution. Yeah, I'll do this one. I'd love to do that. Stand by our word. Go straight to war them. Eh, we should ultimatum. My apologies. It's just... Trying to keep it historical slightly, so we can issue the UN. Diplomatic objections. Wait, why is that autocomplete? What does that do? What's military action? International humanitarian aid for Hungarian refugees. We can put them to Wisconsin. That's kind of cool. Expose Soviet aggression. Wait, why do? Uh, maybe we should have threatened them then. I don't know. Oh yeah, I get some more extraction of that stuff. That'd be good. That'd be very good actually. Hungarian withdraw from the Warsaw Pact. Okay, this won't be appreciated in Moscow. Oh boy. Oh boy. Unsurprising, really.
Nuclear power plants would be fun. So we need more energy, more fossil fuels, man. Uh, we did both of these, which is pretty good. We have Max Allen now. Pennsylvania, maybe? As well as Rhode Island. Rhode Island, please. Thank you. So we'll see who wins the elections. We'll see. Social views? Mm, we had a group trials. All right. Liberal Marxists. Okay. All right. Equal rights. Slightly reduces ten racial tensions over time. Mm. Reduces tensions of over time. Really? Sure. Affirmative action does that? Really? Uh, let's see. Anything else here? Not too much. And then, Sap Triumphs, the M40 Snap Rifle. Nice. Swedish elections, interesting. We decolonize stuff. We could war with Vietnam, but that seems just way too early for us to do such things. Let's wait first. Ah, uh, Turkey, Iraq. Arm the militaries, the paramilitaries. This one, Turkey can actually do stuff. Ah, I'll do Turkey. This is probably wrong. I don't know which one to do. I want to invade Syria. I just want to invade. I want a new regime, too. Like... I don't know. We'll see what happens. I mean, this is a absolutely a a historical, but execution of Mossadegh. Well, that sucks for you, bro. Interesting. That really sucks for you. Oh, energy meter is nice. Um, well, more rocketry, I guess. Because once we get all the rocketry stuff done, we're probably just going to keep pushing hard. Pushing, 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 pushing for more rocketry and more engineering, more technology and research and stuff. Semi-traditionalism. Cuba population goes down. Political power factor goes up by 10%. Nice. That's, that's what we like. American immigration ain't too bad. Nice. Alrighty. I guess we'll just contact Turkey. Hopefully they don't reject us too much. We get some more technology, which is great. We're on free trade. Hurts our resources quite a bit. Um, let's get a slightly more output. You know, a little more. This is the market. Let's have a research speed. I want to go down here, probably. Let's try this one. We have to build nearly as much. So now we're better over here on light metals, so. Turkey declines! The Turkish government has declined to support plans of the U.S. to instigate a popular uprising in northern Syria to set up a Turkish stake over the area. The Turks believe the plans are not realistic and would weaken the regional position in Turkey and risk a prolonged bloody conflict with Syria. This is a major setback for American plans to weaken the Syrians and remove them as a potential regional threat. The Turkish government also noted that it would not support the plan and hopes to maintain friendly ties with the U.S. Unfortunate. Abandoned Syrian schemes. Ah, my apologies, guys. Like, I tried. I should have just listened to you guys and just went straight to war with them. <sighs> Big sense. Oh, we get more political power if we get regulated press. Hurts the police policy cost, but end of, end of French into China. Act and annexation of Nagara, Haveli. Manhattan Rebellion, okay. Analyzing a failure, the failure of Operation Straggler reveals fundamental issues with the U.S. involvement in Syria. The CIA recognized it was, was over-trusting of its capabilities. And its Syrian constituents and overvalued their capabilities. Um, the Syrian intelligence apparatus is incredibly robust and difficult to outmaneuver. In addition, Syrian nationals are very powerful. I've ever read this before. Um, we must focus our efforts on over-diplomacy. If not, we risk more failures like Operation Straggler, unfortunately. We want to go that, please go ahead. My apologies, like, I want us to do well, but, like, there's no guarantee that we will. I'm doing the best I can, so. Oh, Israel invades the Sinai. I will play out. We already gave him a bunch of weapons anyway, so. Good job, guys. You're blowing each other up like normal. But who cares about that when we got some stuff? Oh, Suez. Better get that gas now. Nice. Oh, they're doing really well down in Sinai. Just keep it, Israel. Like, make greater Israel. That'd be really cool to make. So now, does that open up anything else here? 56? Thanks, Eisenhower. Wait. Eisenhower retires, but now Eisenhower, Eisenhower wins. Well, whether we like it or not, we at least have Eisenhower for the next election. Hello. Wait, what? Permission of MPLA. Um... The YD Eisenhower has won the 56th presidential election, beating his Democratic counterpart convincingly. However, he'll have to overcome being the minority part in the House and Senate. Civil rights in 1960, huh? Okay, so there's more stuff to here, dude. That's actually really cool. I like that. We get more stuff to do here. Eisenhower, we don't... They're not just fun in the CIA all the time. Mr. Stuff. Mr. Dude. That's who has crisis. In the space of a week, the fragile stability has been shattered by 
countries and leaders who we thought were our allies. Israel, Britain, France have all declared war on Nasser, Egypt, and the world is looking to us for a response. Many of our top foreign policy advisors suggesting we strongly condemn the aggressors as we gain the trust of the rest of the Middle East, but others say it's not our fight, and others say so we need to support our allies of old. UN condemns our actions. I don't, dude, I don't know. I don't know. Support the tripartite. You're gonna condemn this? Stand by all of our allies. Support the tripartite thing. Crisis in Lebanon. Support the tripartite alliance. We rejected the tripartite proposals. Um, we didn't sign it, so demand the tripartite withdrawal. I don't know, man. Treaty of Jerusalem. Wait, I was supposed to reject that. My bad. Oh well. I'm sorry. I'm, uh, oh, 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 it's over here. So it's Christ. Support the tripartite alliance. Okay. Support Egypt. Denounce tripartite. Actually, with, uh, demand the withdrawal. Crash the British economy. That sounds like fun. Uh, halt financial aid. Twilight of the old order. That doesn't seem very normal that we should do. So I guess we'll do this one. Veto UN measures. Uh, indirect involvement. Sure. Discount weapon sales. Increase diplomatic coordination. I think they're doing pretty well without us already, right? So yeah, they're doing pretty darn well. So I guess we'll increase diplomatic coordination. You know, I'd love to do this one. Instead of $99, $79. I love that one. Sponsor or support Egypt? Okay. Well, we're not sponsoring anybody here. I don't get sponsored. Hey, this is a town that's recording. Probably not for a long time, too, but whatever. Uh, let's go over here. We want to do Eisenhower stuff, right? So, Eisenhower all the way, I guess. Good luck, guys. Keep mucking up the Middle East for us. 98... Come on, man. 98%. Francisco Almonte. Please, just love us. All I want you to do is love us. Anything else here yet? Nope. Teachers embraces De Gilles as critiques. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Couple more weeks for that stuff. Nice, nice, nice. And we're doing some black sites. Look at black. There's a lot to do, too. Alright, so. After that one, economic prosperity. Oh, that's pretty good. Airway Modernization Act. Let's do this one. Our economy is the strongest in the world, and our, of course, people know it. We are the most consumer products the best services and there's something for everyone to enjoy this is extremely beneficial and will provide us with great great results right Eisenhower that's right and one more day left get a lot more political power so we can influence Mexico some more follow it up with establish NASA let's do Airways modernization app a year ago on June 30th there was a horrific crash involving two passenger aircraft over unregulated airspace over the Grand Canyon. By passing the Airways Modernization Act, we can assure that it doesn't happen, of course, again. Which is probably a good thing to do. Like, we don't want planes crashing to each other or into towers or anything like that, right? Right? Black sites. Nice. Economic prosperity. Yeah, you're disappointing, Turkey. Very disappointing. Could have gotten more of this northern Syria. Is this is Israel just gonna eat this and just keep it here? I'm um, don't get me wrong, I like it like this. Seriously, are they are they done beat war? Operation Volcano. I gotta play as Israel sometime, man. Israel seems like yep, I gotta play as Israel. Uh nice. And we'll found NASA soonish too. Why not? Shock and all sounds like a good thing. I do want to get involved, but like, oh, happy 57, everybody. I do want to get involved in Vietnam eventually. Large scale quarry stuff, not bad. Might as well keep going. So after that one, we're going to do Price Anderson Nuclear Industries Indemnity Act, Civil Rights Act. Now nah, we'll do establish NASA first. Since 1875, no, not that one. NASA. Well, the new advances in the space and rocket technology field coming every day. It's time. We set up an official government agency to handle these things. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration will help streamline and focus our research process. And I'll probably do a few more off-screen as well, such as... 
uh, Civil Rights Act. Since 1875, every time a Civil Rights Act has been introduced, it has been shot down. However, that doesn't mean we can we can accept the current state of African Amer African American rights. It's time to try and push another Civil Rights Act to Congress. If you want to about this, please go ahead. We're poorly thought out plan. And Bryce Anderson Nuclear Industries Indemnity Act. Nuclear industries, power plants, and other services are inherently dangerous. We need to ensure that both the civilian populace can receive compensation in case of an accident that the corporations are par partially protected from liability claims. But, unfortunately, my friends, that's all the time that i got for right now. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we're going to try to push to get to 1960. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.